Γεια σας, καλημέρα. Με λένε Στάλο. Did you know that there is a Greek village in the United States? That's right. It's called Tarpon Springs and it's in the state of Florida. Ready to explore this fascinating place? Πάμε! This is a Google map where you can see Florida and the Gulf of Mexico. Ο κόλπος του Μεξικού. Ο κόλπος του Μεξικού. In this close-up Google map, you can see Tarpo Springs on the west coast of Florida in the Gulf of Mexico. Tarpo Springs is about 27 miles from Tampa. It's the oldest city in Pinellas County. It has a population of about 26,000, a very strong Greek culture and heritage, and the highest percentage of Greeks of any city in the United States. All the street signs are in both Greek and English. Tarpo Springs is known as the sponge capital of the world. In 1905, a Greek man named John Kokoris introduced the technique of sponge diving to Tarpo Springs by recruiting and bringing divers from Greece. The sponge industry soon became the most important business in Tarpo Springs, generating millions of dollars every year. At its peak, the sponge industry here was the biggest in the world, using unique Greek diving techniques. You may want to visit Spongiorama, where you can watch an interesting short film, and you can also visit the museum and the sponge factory. The main street is Dodecanese Boulevard, Dodecanisos in Greek, a street full of restaurants, bakeries, Greek food markets with any Greek product you can think of, coffee shops and lots of souvenir shops. In case you are wondering how Tarpo Springs got its name, the story goes that some of the first people who arrived here around 1876 saw lots of tarpon, which is a kind of large fish, jumping out of the waters and so they named the place Tarpon Springs. There are two downtowns. The first one is the original downtown area with shops, boutiques, galleries and museums. And the second one is the famous Sponge Docks. And this second downtown is the one that we are visiting today. What you see here is a small outside shopping mall with some nice boutiques and a popular restaurant, Mama's Authentic Greek Cuisine. I haven't been there, but I hear that it's very good. This is the marina. As one might expect, a lot of the boats have Greek names. This one is named after a saint, Agios Fanurios, O Agios, O Agios. And this one too, Agios Nikolaos. In front of the marina is the beautiful statue of a young sponge diver in honor of all the sponge divers who put their lives in danger and those who lost their lives.
By the way, there is a 1953 movie, Beneath the Twelve Mile Reef, which shows the difficult life of the sponge divers and the dangers that they faced those days. It takes place and was filmed in Tarpon Springs. I watched it the other day. It's pretty good and very interesting from a historical point of view. Here is another popular Greek restaurant, Hellas, with a bakery right next door. We will visit both a little later. This is the Greek Orthodox Church of St. Nicholas, the Ecclesia. The Ecclesia. It's close to the other downtown area that we talked about earlier. Mom, that, that's the only actual auto. Yeah, I know. Well, the Pewee! Yeah, I found an actual auto. Bring it over here. Hope, Elpida in Greek, was the name of the first Greek boat that was used for sponge diving. Two of the Greek food markets that I mentioned earlier. Here you can find lots of products from Greece, Cyprus and the Mediterranean in general. Pasta, popular Greek cheeses, taramo salata, Greek coffee, grape leaves, spices, and many more. There are tons of souvenir shops lined up on the main street and on the side streets. You can find the usual souvenir items, t-shirts, bathing suits, summer clothing, magnets, hats, bags, jewelry, key rings. You can find different kinds of natural soap and other skincare products. You can find natural sponges of all shapes and sizes in all the souvenir shops. They are very fascinating. Look at all these shapes. More sponges.
and more sponges. You can find them everywhere. Look at this blowfish, kind of scary, don't you think? These pirate ships are so pretty. Air plants, baby sponges at the back, shark jaws, sea fans, Lots of different kinds of shells, beautiful colors and designs. This is a very nice lady that we've met. Her name is Evdokia. There is a whole section with evil eye jewelry. Tokako Mati. Tokako Mati. Many people believe in the evil eye, and this blue stone in the likeness of an eye is believed to chase away the evil eye. It's time to enjoy a delicious Greek dinner. We are eating at Hellas on the main street. This place is always very busy. The food is excellent and the service extraordinary. The decor is also very nice with beautiful murals, water fountains and soft lighting. We are getting some appetizers first. Tonzanziki Tzatziki, Iskordaya, Iskordaya, Itaramo Salata, Itaramo Salata, Ihoriatiki Salata, Ihoriatiki Salata. The difference between a village salad and a Greek salad is that the village salad has no lettuce. This is Saganaki. To Saganaki. To Saganaki. An appetizer with fried cheese that is lit on fire right before it's served. It's usually accompanied by Opa. Do you like your pasticcio? Yes. Bravo. Do you like your spaghetti? Yes. As you can see, the meals are very good. Do you agree, Alex? Yes. They're very good. Yes, they are. I just yes. said to eat all of it because I don't like white.
Λίλη μου, τι πίνεις? Αλέξ μου, τι πίνεις? Λίλη μου, τι τρως? Αλέξ μου, τι τρως? Τι τρως? And this is the main dish. The bakery right next door is always packed, even more than the restaurant. It has delicious Greek, Middle Eastern and Mediterranean desserts. So hard to choose just one. And ice cream. To pagoto. To pagoto. In order to make this video, I visited Tarpo Springs three times in the same week in August, both during the day and in the evening. I was hoping for a more lively atmosphere, especially on a Saturday night, but summer is not high season for Florida because of the high temperatures. After Christmas is the time that Tarpo Springs had tons of visitors and I'm sure the streets are packed with people walking, sitting in coffee shops, having a good time and creating that festive atmosphere that I was looking for. Still, Tarpo Springs is a very beautiful and interesting place to visit any time of the year. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed our little stroll in Tarpon Springs. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Efharisto! Yasas!